Welcome to Coach's Corner, Swimming Edition. I'm Jake Lancer with Danny Lynch for HWTV, and today we're joined by Varsity Swimming Head Coach Jason Swartz. Today, we're going to recap the Wolverines' impressive 6-1 and season in the Mission League. Coach, thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. Obviously, the record tells a certain story for this team, but from your perspective, how did the season go? Hey, thanks for having me today. Um, I think we had a really great season um, on the on the uh, girls' side. Um, I think we only lost one meet, which is to Santa Margarita, who's going to be the national champions this year. And then on the boys' side, we, we lost to uh, Loyola. Um, but in the girls' They did really well. We won the Mission League Championship, uh, placed sixth at, uh, at CIF, uh, Division One. And then on the boys, we had a really good season, a really good season going. Um, about halfway through the year, uh, we lost, We had a bad injury to Benjamin Ham. Um, he had a bike accident and, and, and broke his wrist and, and thumb. So uh, he was out for the rest of the year, and that affected our relay. So while we didn't achieve some of the goals we set out for at the beginning of the year, um, cause that of that injury, uh, a lot of the younger swimmers stepped up and did really, really well. Chris Moe, Nick Barner, um, really pleased with how they, how they swam. And coach, can you just take a minute to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about your background, how long you've been coaching at Harvard Westlake, what you've done before, um, and so on. Yeah, sure. So, um, I've been coaching at Harvard Westlake, gosh, this is, I think this is my eighth season as program head. And before that I was, an assistant coach for three years. Um, I've been in the club world of swimming for, gosh, 20, 25 years. Uh, I run um, Los Angeles Swim Club, which is many people may know is based out of Harvard Westlake and also LA Valley College, a very successful club uh, that is kind of nationally known. Uh, before that, I was uh, had a program called Westside Aquatics on the west side of LA. I, I co-own that with, with, with a, a friend of mine. Um, and then my swimming experience personally, I swam at the University of Florida, um, and uh, that was in, in the uh, late 90s. Um, and then I, I swam at a high school called the Bowl School, also in Florida. All right. Thank you. So obviously, this team is very different as you had some many graduates uh, from last year. So who do you think stepped into a leadership role this year and how did they affect the culture of the team? Sure. Um, so. I really felt that, um, you know, we, we tend to kind of lean on our seniors. Uh, every year there's a senior group that leaves. So we we hope that our new juniors going into senior years will step up and take the leadership role. And they and they do a really good job of that. Claire McLean, for sure, on the girl side. Donia, uh, Donia Gasmia was also one that did a great job. And then Benjamin Ham also. Benjamin Ham um, was one of our senior leaders on the boys also. Even though he got injured, he was still a part of the team and was still around, went to CIF with us, participated, you know, really, really helped uh, support the team and creates a great culture of, of, of being kind of a big, inclusive team. And obviously the season has ended. So looking at this team for next year, who do you think is going to be stepping into that leadership position? Yeah, I think uh, we're on the we're going to lean on uh, Lily Newman, who's had a lot of success here um, as as an as an athlete. She'll she'll step into that leadership role. Also, uh, Yvette Um and also Logan Bender. I think they're going to be a couple of leaders for us on the diving side. Charlotte Newman, um, and then uh, for the boys, we're looking at Christopher Mo. Um, we're probably looking at Nicholas Barner to also be our leaders. Um, and then Lucas Lee will also be one of our leaders, I think also, you know, and I think they're just, they've been in the program a long time. They know how we operate. They know what's going on and, and they'll, they'll step into those roles, I think really well. So we talked about the team a little. Now I want to sort of get into some individual athletes. Um, this season was significant in a multitude of ways for the squad. One of them being Chris Mo breaking the school record in the 500 free. You mentioned him, uh, having a great season and sort of going to be stepping up into a leadership role next year. But, uh, could you just talk a little bit more about how he's sort of come along in this program the past couple of years? Yeah. Um, so he, um, he's, he's done a really, really nice job. He's a hard worker. He, he gets in the pool and he kind of, he grinds daily. Um, and he had a really big, uh, club season, uh, right before the high school season started and, and, and did really, really well. Um, and then throughout the, this, this, this junior season, um, he, you know, we knew we could plug him into a couple of spots in dual meets, whether it was a, a 200 IM or 200 free or, or 500 free. We knew we had a chance to win those events in, in those dual meets and, and we depended on him there. 
And then he got to CIF. He had a pretty good CIF, but not a great one. And then he goes to state, and that's where he broke the school record. He just needed an extra week of rest, probably, and he he really lit it up at state. And so we're really excited about him. I think he's going to have a great senior season next year. So you have him and you have Nick Barner next year, sort of working right. as a real uh, solid group together. Um, do they work together in relays along with two others, or are they separate most of the time? No, actually, they'll be together a lot. Um, so... You know, we they we t- we try to put together our two best relays, and those guys will be two kind of cornerstones of that relay. What that what what those relay decisions will be next year, we don't know yet. But um, but we anticipate both of those guys being cornerstones on our relays for next season. Um, seeing as we just highlighted um, swimming, I also just want to switch that to talk uh, to talk about diving. So, can you just tell us a little bit like about Charlotte Newman and all the uh, divers and what it's like? teaching diving i guess yes um so i I, we have a coach we have a couple of coaches that we use this year for diving um so you know um they're they're on my staff they're assistant coaches and they're diving experts you know i'm not a diving expert i know the sport a little bit but i'm not a diving expert so we go out and we bring in uh, coaches that are really, really good. And they did a great job with our divers this year. Charlotte Newman uh, had, a, had a really nice season, made it all the way to CIF, which is not easy to do. Um, and, and and we also could depend on her to really score a lot of points in a lot of those dual meets, especially like we had a very tough dual meet against Marlboro this year. Um, very good team. And you know, she gave us a lead right away from the first event by by winning that diving event. So she did a great job there. Um, but all the divers did really well. Uh, Zion was a big diver for us. Uh, he did really well. Sam Cleland also did really well. Um, and then um, uh, we have some young divers coming up that we're looking forward to also. You know, Lavinia also did a very good job on the on the diving side of things. You know, so it's we you know we make sure we have the opportunity for the divers to 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 be a part of our team and also they're they're integral. A lot of teams don't have diving, so we can take advantage of that. You know, of those points in a dual meet, and uh, it's one advantage that Harbor West Lake has, and we intend to keep. Uh, this seems like a very talented group, ranging from freshmen to seniors. So I'm wondering also since this is both an individual and team sport in a way, how is the chemistry on this team? Yeah. So that's interesting that it is, you know, this is something we actually talk about. One of our, the ways that we feel like we find success in, in the pool is because it is an individual sport. And at the high school level, it's very much a team sport also. So one of the way that we find success is we, we, if the individual has success, then the team will have success. So that's kind of where we start from. Um, so we're training the individuals, um, and, and obviously in a team environment. But if they're swimming fast, it's fast. Fast swimming is contagious, and other people will swim fast also. Um, so we really try to kind of bring that along. One of the things that's different about swimming and maybe some other sports is we have a lot of moving parts. Um, for example, we have swimmers that are you know predominantly club swimmers. We have swimmers that are um just high school swimmers and then we have some people that are maybe play a little bit of water polo and then come and join us a little bit so and then you have the divers that are sometimes practicing separate than the swimmers or maybe at the same time but in different lanes so it's it is a challenge to bring that together uh but we feel like we do a pretty good job of that and and the kids try to try to have some events themselves to kind of bring everybody together also and obviously, all these athletes have been swimming for a super long time. And so I'm just wondering what you like to incorporate at your practices and how you use your past experience swimming in college um, and bring it into practice. Yeah, sure. So, again, we have a wide variety um, of, of skill sets on, on any given practice. So we, you know, we try to have a good staff uh, um a, a bigger staff that allows us to get really specific with the individual. So we have some kids that maybe, you know, that are, that are learning some strokes or learning how to, 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 to do a, a racing start um, or a, a flip turn, for example. Um, so we need to have space for that, for them to develop, to reach their goals. Um, we have some kids that are maybe trying to get onto that varsity team. So we need to have space for them to reach their goals. And then we have some kids that are probably trying to 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 go compete at college, and 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 we need to to have a space for them to reach those goals. So um, we lay out a good practice plan, or a, a seasonal plan, or a weekly plan to make sure that we're reaching all those goals. Um, and so 
through our experience as coaches we, we and our abilities as coaches, we feel like we can we can hit all those needs on any given day or a given week. Want to touch on uh, Lily Newman for a second? So junior Yale commit uh, in the CIF Division One final, she places a runner up in the hundred free, um, and then also as a part of the two hundred free relay group. Obviously, both of these are big achievements and very impressive. But knowing Lily, it's clear that she's always trying to sort of strive to come in first place. Um, how do you think that this season can sort of serve as motivation for her to even work even harder going into her senior year? Sure. Um, you know, she's uh, she's a great competitor. Um, and she I think her best quality is just getting up and racing. And I think, you know, she has a fire in her that that when she wants to 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 go achieve something, she's going to get after it. And so um we don't worry about her too much i think as long as she's she's in the pool and she's training and and she has a goal set in mind she's going to do it you know and um i love watching her race i love watching her compete um cuz she's a she's a tough competitor you know one of our one of my favorite races of the year um i have two probably from her uh the first one is the first meet out of the gate we went to a meet in uh in lancaster pennsylvania uh called easterns which a lot of other uh you kind of east coast private schools are there and uh, we, we were in the morning in the pre, the prelim swim. She was second, and we looked at the results and we said, "We think you can win this, but you need to just get out faster. Get get out of your comfort zone and just get out faster, um, and get the lead on the girl that was was seated first. And uh, she did that in the in the night final swim, and she ended up winning the race, and, and it was a great swim. Um, and then my other favorite race of hers was that 200 free relay as part of that team. Um, that was, even though we got runners up, we got runners up probably to the national record holders. And, um, that was a heck of a relay and they were just, they were fired up and competitive and Lily set the tone by being that first leg on that relay. So we're not, she'll, she'll jump in and she'll race again next year. And she'll, I think she'll do great. Coach, a lot of commits on this team. Uh, Benji Ham going to UPenn, Allison Wynn going to Scripps, Claire McLean going to Duke, uh, just can you talk about how this senior class has really grown from seeing them all the way from their freshman year till now and just how their development through this program has sort of set a tone? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, one of the things that's that's great about this group is um, uh, so, you know, they they were here, uh, you know, well, Benji was a came in as a 10th grader, but uh, but Allison was here since seventh grade and then Claire came in at ninth grade. Uh, I've known Allison for many, many years. She was on our club program when she was a, a little girl. Um, and she she always just had a great work ethic and 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 as did Claire. and and when Benji came in at tenth grade, he just he bought right into the program and just, you know, blew up as a swimmer. Um, so their work ethic and just their kind of day-to-day effort and and um, um, kind of showing by example of how you train, how you improve, how you get better. I think that is is kind of what set the tone and, and allows other c- swimmers to see, hey, this is the path I can take and maybe maybe I can achieve some of those goals also. So coach, thank you for taking the time. Before we wrap things up though, this is my partner Danny's mm-hmm. last coach's corner ever. So uh, the HWTV family just wants to give her a big thank you for all the time that she's put in um, and congratulations on going to Clemson next year. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, Coach, so much for joining us. Jake will be seeing you guys next year on Coach's Corner. Um, Everyone, enjoy the rest of your year.